What's going on everybody? This is Christian from One Accord Fragrance Reviews. Today I have something from the house of Universal Supreme. Stay right there. So, like I said, the house of Universal Supreme was one that I had to blind buy. I had never really smelled anything from them before this. So, I went ahead and I blind bought Blackbird. Um, needless to say, I was a little thrown back. I wasn't expecting what I had received. Uh, it's a 30 mil. I don't remember how much I paid for it. But it's different. Whether it's a good different or a bad different, I'm still on the wall about. This is a fragrance. I didn't even look up the the notes, but when I do smell it, it's it's strange, and I want to say that I don't like it, but again, I'll go back and I'll smell it. And I've given some people a an idea of what this kind of smells like and it's almost like there's a piece of wood plank you painted it you're letting that dry and then you put you drizzle on some cherry juice on top Sounds really weird. Smells kind of weird because it does have that that funkiness of like the dry paint almost. But it's it gets stuck in your head and you kind of gotta go back and smell it again. I mean, I would I would give it a shot if you can get a sample of it, but it's not something that I can think of a time where I would want to smell like this. I mean, this is one of those fragrances that you'll probably wear at home to just kind of enjoy and and see the weirdness of it kind of like open up. I got to give it a full wearing to say whether I really enjoy it or if I really dislike it. Uh, but I don't know yet. So <laughs> this is it's an okay scent. I will I would sample it. If you're near me or if I know you, I'll let you smell it. But it's definitely different to say the least. That being said, guys, thank you for joining me. Um I'll let you guys know if you're curious later on whether I really enjoy this one or not. Um, God bless you.